hello everyone welcome back to the channel so today in this video we are going to learn how you can make some crazy car animations like uh, this one and we are going to use a free plugin for that uh, and its name is rigaka add-on so yes just go to this uh, link the link will be down in the description and let's download it by clicking here and yeah just just click this one and download the add-on now after downloading the add-on open a blender go to edit preferences install now navigate to the location where your file is saved so and let's double click it and just check this one okay and now just uh, save preferences and close it now let's import our car into blender and for this one i'll be using this model it's a it's a free model i picked up from sketchfab you can model your own car it will it'll be obviously better but Yes, in this case, I, I'll be using this one just to show you, show you guys. So first, what I will do is I will uh, uh, work on the wheels. Like as you can see in this one, uh, wheels are separated. So let's work on that uh, that thing first. So let's select all these and for, let's deselect this thing. We do not want any part of the body right now. So let's deselect by control and selecting that and let's uh, press slash on your keyboard and you should get something like this i mean you will move to the local space and uh, we do not need this suspension also so let's find the layer here yes it is here let's hide it for now and now what i will do is select all select all the wheels go to edit mode turn on this x-ray mode select this first wheel press p and by selection so what i did here is uh, uh, earlier both of these meshes were combined so what i did just did is like select this one p and separate yes that's all now let's move to object mode and let's select this one and let's delete it and now let's uh, toggle x-ray mode back and now we have one wheel so what i will do now is press a to select all and I will just press Ctrl J. Yeah, so now we have a single mesh. Earlier it was like separated. So yes. Now we have to work on the orientation of the wheel. Like if I click this negative Y axis and go to the negative Y view, uh, it's little tilted, and it is very super important to fix this because if we do not fix it and rig a car like this only, uh, when we rotate the wheel, uh, it will wobble a lot so to fix that let's go to y-axis view and let's rotate it like yes like this let's ro let's keep it like this now let's check let's rotate it along x-axis and yeah it's perfect and yes also if your wheel is like not rotating properly on x-axis like in this case uh, to fix that just press right click set origin press origin to geometry and it will fix the issue yes as it has fixed in this case and now let's uh, go back to our main view by pressing slash on our keyboard now uh, let's delete these wheels we just need one wheel let's delete all the other wheels wait we need the disc brakes also so let's press tab and let's delete these and let's join this thing with this thing yeah and now let's go to back to our main view now let's combine as you can see the body is uh, separated the body is also separated now we have to combine the body also so let's click this toggle x-ray mode and let's select everything like all the things in the body and yes we i think we have some things here also yeah make sure the wheel is not selected yeah everything selected now 
let's select this one and kind of press ctrl j to combine the mesh now as you can see everything's combined in one wait this thing is left i think so this one this one press ctrl j and yeah as you can see the board now the whole body is one mesh now what we will do is let's duplicate these tiles in all the other three corners so uh, let's duplicate it by pressing shift d and let's press right click and let's mirror it to x global now as you can see it's mirrored and let's move it right here like let's align it to the left one yes like this one now well, let's do the same for the back wheels so let press let's press shift d and let's bring it right here let's press shift d mirror x global yeah nice now it's time to apply transformations to do that uh, let's select all by pressing a and now, now let's press ctrl a and select all transformations now you will notice one thing that the origins are not like that anymore so to fix that let's press a and select everything let's press set origin origin to geometry now we got another problem is like the wheel started to wobble to fix that just right click set origin origin to the center of mass yes let's do that with all the wheels and now yes it should work fine now we have to do a very important part of uh, rigging the car and that is to uh, name the body uh, name the parts correctly and to make this process easier i have made this uh, i have just written all the names uh, like for which part which name will be used like here for the body body of the model car body so what i will do here is just copy this thing select the body and let's paste it by pressing ctrl v and just like that let's name these wheels also like uh, for the front left wheel we need to use this name so let's select the front left wheel uh, let's paste this name and now let's go to the front uh, rear wheel select the front rear rear wheel and paste the name now let's do the same for the remaining wheels So you just have to understand it like this car wheel ft dot arm this means ft means front and r means right and like this one ft means front and l means left bk means back and r means right and bk means back l means left so it's just like that very simple and you have to make sure that the name should be exactly like this i mean you can change this thing uh, car maybe to another thing like uh jeep van whatever you like but this thing the thing which is after car should be like this this only so now let's select everything press shift a add an armature car deformation rig now as you can see here a bone bones are created you can barely see them and with the bone selected let's press n on our keyboard and let's go to this rig a car add-on menu and let's press generate and yes boom now as you can see here we have a nice car rig like uh, this is the body controller if i select this one and press g we can control this and this is the drift controller right like if i rotate this one the car will drift and this is the like the movement if i press if i um, move it like this the car will move we can also move the wheel with these things so now our car is rigged nicely and now what we want to do is to animate this car so to animate it let's press shift a and let's add a curve first so what we will do is uh, we will make a curve like this and it is gonna move uh, along the curve the car is gonna move along the curve so yeah let's do it and to do that uh, let's 
select the curve which we added and let's let's make it bigger for convenience and let's rotate it to uh 90 degrees and let's let's just delete this point and now we have this point let's play with uh, let's bring it to the center let's extrude it to y-axis extrude it more extrude it more and now let's extrude it to the x-axis i will sub i will divide it here we got this point let's rotate it like 180 degrees and also if it doesn't work nicely what we have to do is select this thing and press v and set it to automatic and it will fix the thing let's make this thing like this and let's ex extrude it a little here let's keep the path like this uh, for now and now uh, also we have to apply transformations for this path also so select this path press ctrl a press all transformations and now let's go to the car rig go to the pose mode select this uh square with the arrow whatever it's called now let's go to bones constraint tab let's uh, add a follow path con constraint and now in the target let's select this bezier curve and yes it's really important to change this thing to negative y and z uh, just so you can or and also check this fixed position and follow curve thing it's really important and yes now your when you move the offset factor it will just follow the curve so yeah now let's give this thing a little animation so let's select this one our root bone let's uh, click this thing and now as you can see here a, a keyframe is added let's go to like 170 and let's set it all the way to one and let's click again here and now as you can see uh our car is animated properly after adding all the keyframes and animating the vehicle now as you can see the wheels are not moving so to do that there's an here's an option in the uh, in the plugin like bake car steering and when we click it and click ok nothing happens and yes this is a bug or i do not know what uh, this thing is but we have an easy fix for that and which is this uh, rig account ma master fix which is created by um this guy you can check his check out his video also uh it is cool so we just need to get to the, go to this link the link will be in the description and just download this thing let's download it and after downloading let's install the add-on let's go to preferences install rig a car master fix and let's deactivate our older version and let's activate our newer version like here it says rig a car master so yeah now let's save preferences now let's try baking it let's bake car steering and also let's bake wheel rotation and now let's check this and now let's go back to object mode and also just to see the things properly uh, all the rotations and steering to see all the steering and everything properly what i will do is uh, let's add the cursor here let's add a camera and let's go to the camera view let's bring it like this and yeah now what i will do is select this thing and let's select the body press ctrl p parent object keep transform and also now as you can see the wheels are rotating and also our steering is baked nicely and also yes it's like it's moving too fast here in this region you can fix it easily by adjust adjusting the keyframes i'm not doing it here because it is just just a little time taking so
so yeah and also uh, let me show you one more thing to let's make this car drift so first of all what i will do is let's clear baked animation and let's go to this let's go to pose mode and let's select this this is drift handle and what i will do is i will make it start drifting here so let's add a keyframe by pressing i rotation rotation and scale and let's bring it like here and i will rotate this thing like this and from here it will go like uh this like this yes like this and from here it will be at its default location uh wait i will just copy this keyframe by pressing shift d and let's bring it here and yeah i mean that's all uh I'm not I'm just doing it roughly to show you all you just take your time and animate it properly and also make sure to slow down the car right here in this region region by keyframing that's an easy task and yes that that's all how to animate a car well I do know you might be thinking how to jump the car and do all the all the other stuff like make it run in uneven terrains but to be honest i also do not know that because like i'm not that professional uh, i just knew this thing and i wanted to share it to you all so yeah that's all